Wait here. Great. Don't try anything else. Come with me. Aye, aye. What a terrible day. Where are you sailing for now? As soon as we have our supplies on board, we're heading back to the Sword Coast. Every few months we sail to Caldera and Tacarigua to recruit new chaps and deliver slaves. I hope our base is still there. 
You're worried about your base on the Sword Coast. We've secured a small area on the eastern shoreline, but the jungle is full of savages. Any we catch, we bring back as slaves. Our weapons are superior, but they've got that damn heathen magic. It's a tricky situation. You're getting ready to evacuate Caldera, right? Not only that. The old world was almost completely destroyed by the Titan Lords. They used the magic in the old temples to summon their Titans. Some of the temples survive, on the Sword Coast, for example. We're here to watch over the temple and prevent anyone from accessing its power. Otherwise, our Berea will soon be in the same situation as the Northern Continent. Nothing here for me. Nothing here to take. Who are you? I haven't seen your face around here before. I came by boat. Word to the wise. If you're headed east, give the jungle valley a miss. There's a cave up this way will take you to a pass across the hills. Much less risky. What makes the jungle so risky? You did just get off the boat, didn't you? There's jaguars in there for starters. Not to mention a whole bunch of escaped slaves who will happily skewer your backside. I saw one of them once at the edge of the jungle, all in his war paint he was. Could have chased after him if I'd wanted, but I knew his game. He was trying to lure me into a trap, crafty beggar. Tell me more about this pass. Just enter the cave mouth up here and follow the path. Mind you don't go too far once you get to the hills. Cross the bridge when you come to it, 
The pirate's den is somewhere on the other side of the island. But whatever you do, don't go north. What's to the north? There was a whole load of us having a bit of a scout round that way once. When this bleeding great thing came out of some caves. Don't know exactly what it was, but it grabbed one of my mates. The rest of us just legged it like our asses were on fire. I'm telling you, mate, don't go north, whatever you do. Wait here. Yes. I'll notice if something goes missing. Come with me. Great. How am I doing? Huh, like you're not cocky enough. We have a mission and a long way to go. I've got your heads here. Ugh, revolting. Take them away. You said you wanted their heads. It was a figure of speech. I just wanted them dead. Bringing me decapitated heads, what kind of madman are you? It's done now, though. So here's your hundred for each one. The deal was for two hundred each. Oh, ah, yes. So it was. Here you go.
Oi, you! Where do you think you're going? The pirate camp. It's around here, right? Wait, didn't you say you came from Puerto Sacarico? Are you with the Inquisition or something? It's or something. Used to be, until they threw me out. So you say. How do I know you're not a spy? But I've got a pirate's bandana. And a nice shiny earring, so what? You're either a pirate or a drag queen. Trust me, I'm all pirate. Why should I believe that? I'm traveling with Patty, Captain Steelbeard's daughter. Steelbeard's got a lot of daughters. But she's his favorite daughter. Well, if you're with Steelbeard, you can come in. All right, on the gates. I could bloody murder a pint of rum right now. Not right now. Daughter! Paddy, at last! Uh, you old fart. No, look here. You walked out on me. I left you a sack of gold! Uh, 
Yeah, and that makes up for leaving your child. You know where you can stick your sack of gold. It was the call of the sea. It was the same then as it is now. You want to leave me behind again? What kind of a father are you? The kind with enemies. A lot of enemies. I'm dangerous to be around, girl. I want you to be safe. Huh. Well, me being safe away from you hasn't exactly worked out so far. Then perhaps it would be better if you came with me. What do you say? You're serious? Of course I want to come with you. Well then, welcome aboard, girl. This fella you're with, another one of your sensitive types, is he? I thought he could sign on with you. Just aboard, and you're already making my decisions for me. Can everyone stop talking about me as if I wasn't here? Shut it, you. Shut it, you! If he can prove his worth as a pirate, I'll take him. But, I warn you, no helping him. That lad of yours needs to swear the oath if he wants to come along. Why just him? I could swear too. Over my dead body, girl. Don't tempt me, old man. No daughter of mine is becoming a pirate. I'd be a better pirate than most. Let's just forget it and have a drink. Ugh, only if you're buying, you mad old fart. To the treasures of this world. Aye to that. <laughs> After my daughter, are you? Good luck there, lad. But I'm sure you ain't here to seize a few Inquisition prizes. So what do you want? I'm looking for the weapon against the Kraken. Are you now? And what do you plan to do with it? I'll use it to kill the thing. Ha! <laughs> well spoken. But the Titan Harpoon ain't just for killing the Kraken. A brave enough man could use it against Mara herself. Mara? What do you know about her? What don't I know about her? Titan Lord she is, with human puppets under her control. Like the one who's got the Titan Harpoon. You can bet she'll do anything to protect him. I can see why. What do you know about the Titan Harpoon? I know who has it, and where to find it. That good enough? Not that I'm saying it's going to be easy relieving him of it, mind. You come after it with me. I've got to know you're up to the job. What do I have to do here? Would it help if I told you about how I defeated a Fire Titan? Or that I can drink, fight and plunder as well as any pirate out there? That would be a good start. I'll make you a deal. If you manage to get our rum on board ship, I'll let you join the crew. What's the problem with the rum? That old bastard booze. He's not got any to give us. I'll tell you one thing. We're not putting to sea without our rum. Give me some landlubber bollocks about supply problems. Your daughter trusts me. And you were in Puerto Sacarico. Which path did you take? Through the jungle or over the pass? The jungle way. The riskier way. Proves you've got balls. My problem is, though, you took my patty that way with you. Ugh, only if you're buying, you mad old fart. To swimming with bow-legged... Uh, no, not that one. I to that. What do you want? I want to join Steelbeard's crew. Then you can start by calling him Captain Steelbeard. And get on board before cast off. We've got enough pirates stinking the place out here. If Steelbeard casts off, I'll be there. 
guards, man. You can't go on sober. Pirates on this crew are drinkers. Go see booze. Who is this booze? You sure you're a pirate? And never heard of booze? Booze makes the rum. And the rum makes him gold. He paid for everything around here. And he pays me to look after it. And gold makes me happy. See? I see. Make yourself useful, you. Get me some water. Can't we talk first? What are you? A woman? You ready here? Of course we are. Weapons sharpened and lots of powder. Gates strong and thick, so are most of our fighters. Let them come. And if they come from the beach? You know, protectors. They see a gate, they can't help themselves. Anyway, I'm more worried about the crabs right now. Don't look at me like that. I mean giant crabs. Big fuckers. You got a filthy mind, boy. What are you gonna do? Booze wants Steelbeard gone. It's his fault. These things have only been coming since Steelbeard got here. So what? You dense, son. He's cursed. Where he goes, they follow. What's the best weapon against crabs? Boots. Kick them till they keel over, it's the only way. Then you can stick them with whatever you like. Can you teach me about smithing? Yeah. Most important thing is water. Go get some. I don't want to work for you. I want to forge my own blade. What the hell's wrong with my blades? Just buy one. You want to make your own, you pay me like I made it, you hear? Let's see your blades. Here. It's Largo. He's in trouble. That the best you can do? Only Largo I know is not around anymore. So where did I get this black pearl from? Ah, guess this is Largo's. He's in Puerto Sacarico prison. And what's it to you? I want the pick to get him out. So it's important to you? 500 gold then. He said you owe him money. That lying scumbag sounds just like him. If I don't get him out, he'll hang. Go on here, take the pick. They kill him, then I don't get to kick his ass. Put that thing away. That's more like it. Put that thing away. That's more like it. You're new here, aren't you? Morris, at your service. I'm with Captain Steelbeard. What's to do round here? 
Without any gold, not much, I'm afraid. No gold means no rum, and even worse, no company of some fine ladies. What goes on in Takarigua? Where have you been? Serving with the Inquisition or something? It's only the biggest distillery in all the Southern Seas. Rum making? That must keep them busy. Uh, used to, but booze has stopped supplying everyone. More's the pity. Desperate measures, that's what I've had to take to try and secure my own supply. What did you do? Just sneaked into Booze's corner to grab a few bottles for my own personal consumption. Only that ruffian Alistair somehow took exception to it. I was forced to take flight straight over the balcony. And you didn't even get the rum. Bad luck. You can say that again. And as if it wasn't bad enough, I've also lost half my equipment. I haven't even got anything I could trade with Flanagan for gold. But wait, if I catch the scoundrel who's running around in my clothes... You could sneak in and try again. With my luck, no thanks. But I know a way someone with better skills than mine could get in there. I'll give it a try. You'll have to be quiet. That ruffian Alistair's sharper than he looks. Is the deal. I'll sell you my plan, and you keep the spoils. A good plan, is it? Extremely good. It requires stealth, though. You ready for that? If you can't be secretive, you can try and fight your way through. But that lacks style, doesn't it? I'll buy your plan. Then listen up. Booze's room is at the very top. There's quite a bit of loot in there, but Elia and Alistair are also up there, keeping an eye out. So what's your plan? Wait until Elia goes downstairs to sleep, and then get Lola to keep Alistair busy. He's got a thing about her, and she'll happily go along with you, if you pay her. And then you'll be free to have a look around Booze's room upstairs. I've got that lockpick you wanted. Nice. Now, watch the master at work. Right, watch your way, you asked oh. for this. Yeah. Hit the bastard. Uh. 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 What you waiting for? Uh. Uh. Have him. Uh. Thanks, mate. I owe you one. Take the lockpick. I'll show you how to use it. What are you going to do now? Think I'll head to the pirate's den. Don't you want your things back? Why? You've got it all with you. I've got some of your stuff. Then hold on to it for now. Bring me back all of it and I'll give you 1,000 gold. Wait, I'll come with you. Fine by me. Let's go.